All right, what is going on, Hustlers? Welcome back into the channel today. I just wanted to dive in quickly and give you my raw thoughts on the Minecraft NFT ban, aka Microsoft also is behind the Minecraft NFT ban, why I think it's a little bit hypocritical of them to go this route, and I think that they are strictly afraid of the disruptive technology that NFT games and NFTs will have in the future for games. So let's get into it immediately. If you are new to the channel, be sure to drop down and hit the subscribe button. We come out with brand new NFTs. NFT gaming content here every single week, as well as like the video if you enjoyed the video. Also, with my upcoming project, the NFT Gaming Collective, this thing of ours, hit the Discord link down below to join the server. It is a public server at the moment. You can get some exclusive alpha information, portfolio allocations, as well as the exclusive crypto gaming reports weekly, which we dropped one today in the server. So be sure to check that out, and all of these benefits will be for holders only after Mint. The true information a hub of crypto gaming the industry that i think is going to rule the space for the next five to ten to who knows how many years so let's go ahead and dive into it as we see minecraft stiff arming that technology that i myself am so bullish on which is nfts in games and i think that when you look at the landscape of things sure I completely understand they didn't want projects like NFT worlds or critters or these uh, Minecraft blockchain integrated projects kind of building layers on top of an existing project. So it's almost like infringement on their t uh, on their tech inside the Minecraft game for them to build these NFT mechanics. But some of the reasons and some of the quotes inside of the announcement really threw me off. They mentioned minting NFTs with Bitcoin, which that doesn't happen. I mean... I don't mint NFTs with Bitcoin personally. I use Ethereum, but you know, to each their own. I understand they, they were just making a reference to cryptocurrencies and they were talking about how NFTs create a divide in the player base and are not inclusive. And I think it's interesting because I actually think that NFTs will bring communities even closer together, right? I mean, there's no tangible attachment to these games unless you're an esports professional or unless you're a top tier streamer who makes subscription revenue or has a contract with Twitch or YouTube gaming, but that's just the biggest influencers in the world. So right now in this current space, I actually think that NFTs create very much of an inclusive feel because it actually gives each player a stake in their progress in the game and in their microtransactions. They could actually potentially trade those and recoup the profits down the line. And funny enough, we've even seen Microsoft, who is behind this Minecraft band at the end of the day, they are open to the metaverse technology. They acquired Activision, who makes World of War Warcraft, Call of Duty, etc., for 69 or 70 billion dollars, and it said that they were a part of their metaverse play with Activision. So you know that they support the technology. So my biggest thing is they are just simply stiff arming this disruptive technology that is inclusive, by the way. As we see here, Minecraft ban hypocritical and NFTs are inclusive from Yatsu from Animoca brands themselves. And I think that this is just another wave and another disruptive technology technology that is going to be stiff armed for now but later on people will have to come back around and let's just start it with steam let's just start with steam steam bans all in games with nfts and cryptocurrency as of october 15th well now we see epic games coming around with grit they're launching blanco's block party so clearly epic games is going to pick up that slack and say look on our store, on the Epic Game Store, we're going to embrace that technology. We're actually going to let you download NFT games and facilitate NFT games on this platform, which also includes Saints Row, Fortnite, Spider-Man, FIFA, and more. So they also have Fall Guys. And when Blanco's Block Party comes over here, you know, it's going to be the Fall Guys of the blockchain as far as Epic Game Stores go. So I think that this is just another deflection of technology. And I really think that down the line, Minecraft will probably end up building in NFT mechanics because just how Epic Games came in and took advantage of Steam's lack of awareness or stiff arming the disruptive technology with NFTs and games, you actually see Epic Games doing the, you know, the opposite. They will not ban NFT games. They're actually going to double down. But what I think is the most interesting is I see Sandbox benefiting tenfold because of this. So NFT worlds, critters, you know, they're all taking a dip right now because they were Minecraft integrated. Well, I see strict opportunity here for Sandbox to double down, triple down their efforts and really be now the Minecraft of the blockchain. A lot of people already compare this to Minecraft. At the end of the day, the graphics are very similar, the building mechanics, etc. But a couple of things here, you know, 
Minecraft is huge, but the partners coming in, obviously, already to the sandbox are bar none. I mean, Snoop Dogg, Walking Dead, Adidas, you have the Smurfs, Hell's Kitchen, Roller Coaster Tycoon, Atari, Care Bears, backed by Yatsu's Animoca brands themselves. I see the clear winner from this announcement, just how Epic Games has become the winner of the Steam announcement, and potentially the Ultras and the Gala Games, Vulcan Forge. Those will be the big winners from Steam deflecting blockchain games. But a big winner that I would predict from this announcement, Minecraft banning NFTs in their game would be the sandbox. I think that everything that they're doing, it really lines up to be the blockchain version of what would be the Minecraft iteration of the metaverse. And I think that Sandbox will step up to the plate here and deliver something quality in the light of this ignorance, deflection of technology, misunderstanding of technology, whatever it was that drove Microsoft and Minecraft to ban NFTs. They will have to pay for it in a way, just how Steam will pay for not launching NFT games. When there's enough of a market share, they're probably going to turn back around and welcome NFT games, right? It was just so early, and we still are so early, guys. That's the thing. Like, when you see that deflection of technology, that's how you know the disruption is real. They said it was creating a non-inclusive environment. They were scared that the people who play the game for free, basically, and play it for fun, were going to start giving in to, hey, there's some people people over here using NFT mechanics that give me a stake in the game. So I feel like they were afraid of bringing it as an inclusive technology into the game. Just personally, I think that they really were trying to prevent and the inevitable integration of NFTs into games. And I think 10 years down the line, guys, I think that all games are going to have NFTs integrated. They might not be called NFTs. They might be called in-game collectibles digital gaming assets, something like that, which doesn't term it as a non-fungible token, but makes it super easy for the player to understand. You know, in-game inventory or, uh, you know, like something ownable inventory, something very catchy that the player can catch on to and not be like, oh, NFTs are a scam because that's what we're battling right now. And unfortunately, this type of headline with Minecraft bans, etc., it pushes our industry even further into that dark light that they try to put on the industry, that NFT gaming's bad, Axie Infinity failed, all these tokenomics problems, etc. This is just another news story in that pile. But eventually, we're going to pull up all these news, and we're going to laugh at the lack of understanding from all of these Web2 brands when NFT gaming catches the masses like we think it will. So guys, if you agree with my stance on this, if you have your own opinion on the Minecraft NFT ban, Microsoft banning this inside of Minecraft, as well as Epic Games, Steam, anything like that that we discussed in the video, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and where we go in the future. Does this benefit Sandbox? Does this benefit a developer? developer that's coming up in the woodworks that we don't even know about yet. I think that it just creates more avenues inside of Web3 to bring this thing closer to adoption, which will then force these Web2 businesses to integrate NFTs into their games eventually. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more weekly NFT gaming content here as well. Join the This Thing of Ours server, the NFT Gaming Collective. I am the founder over there. All of the core information is coming right from the gaming reports, right from my portfolio allocations all the way down the line to research reports on DeFi, research reports on macro, crypto news. We're going to have advisor calls with top other influencers and project leaders in the space. We've recently talked, obviously, with the guys at Steady Stack, NF Arcade, uh, Shrapnel, Collider Craftworks. We're going to have all of these guys private inside the server, giving that raw information and that raw feedback on the industry and where they see this going. And there will be unfiltered conversations as we will be in the Discord server for holders only. Join the public Discord in the description. I'll be back midweek this week or actually i'll be back tomorrow one or noon eastern with steady stack we're going to do an ama and kind of talk about the partnership we have cooking up as well so don't miss that i'll be back then on monday at noon eastern as always keep hustling peace